VMware Player is a clever program that lets you run a complete operating system in a window. This can be useful for trying out a completely different operating system such as Linux or for experimenting with your existing operating system without putting your documents at risk. This video will show how VMware Player makes installing Windows 7 very easy. Start VMware Player and click on the Create a New Virtual Machine option. You will be asked where you want to take the installation files from. The top option is for when you have a physical installation disk and you can select which drive to use. For this example however, we have a disk image file on our computer. So select the bottom option and click on the Browse button. Find the disk image file and click on Open. You can see here that VMware Player has detected that this is a Windows 7 installation disk and will use the Easy Install function. Click on Next. Enter the Windows product key if you have one. If you don't, Windows will still install, but it will only work for a limited period of time. Select the correct version of Windows in the drop-down menu. Enter a username and enter a password twice. Even though this is a virtual computer, it is still a good idea to use a password. When you are happy with all of these options, click on OK. Click on Yes in the message that appears if you don't have a product key. You can rename your virtual computer which is useful if you want to use several for different specific purposes and select a location for it. As the files for a virtual machine will measure in gigabytes, you may want to use a separate folder on your computer that won't be included in normal backups. You can see here that we use a dedicated folder in the root folder of the hard disk. Click on Next. The next step is to select the maximum size you want the virtual computer hard disk to be. You can also opt to store the disk as a single file or as several separate files. Splitting the disk can make backup and recovery easier, but it may also slow the virtual computer down. Click on Next to see a summary of the settings you have chosen, and if you're happy with them, click on Finish. The Windows setup will begin using the options set in the Easy Install Wizard, restarting as required. After the final restart, Windows will finish the last parts of the setup process, and you will then see a full Windows 7 desktop in a window. We recommend checking for any available updates and installing some antivirus software before you do anything else. 